Welcome everyone. My name is Annie Pocklington and I work for the Washington Student Achievement Council, which oversees the Washington State Gear Up Grant at your school. Today we are super excited to have Marcy here visiting from Grace Harbor College for another one of our virtual campus visits. So before we get started, a few reminders. Please keep your camera off through the duration of this video. We also need you to change your name for attendance purposes. So if you wanna go ahead and change your name to your first name, your last name, and your high school name, that would be wonderful. If you don't know how to change your name in Zoom, don't spend too long thinking about it. You can go ahead and just drop your name and your high school name into the chat now, and I will make sure your Gear Up coordinator knows that you are here. You are muted for recording purposes. So if you have a question, again, go ahead and just write it in the chat and I will read them off to Marcy at the end of our presentation. If we don't get to your question today or something comes up after this session that you're curious about, please feel free to reach out to either myself or our guests so that we can assist you in getting the information that you need. So this virtual visit series, as you know, is set up for you to compare and contrast institutions based on your own personal needs. So all of the institutions in Washington State are really great, but they do provide different things for different students. So be sure that as we are visiting today with Marcy and Grace Harbor College, that you are thinking about what you would like to study, what you want your daily life in college to look like, what housing options you might need, and if you'd consider getting a job on or around campus. You'll also want to consider cost, of course, which includes financial aid opportunities, and then anything else that's important to becoming your best self while attending college. So with that being said, personal reflection is of utmost importance when figuring out where you want to go to school or what your post-secondary pathway is. So make sure that you are taking notes of some variety today. Um, you can find a guided reflection activity on our website. To explore all of the institutions across the state, you can also access this really uh, awesome interactive map by WACAN. So I will make sure to drop both of those links into the chat once I pass things off to our guests. And again, you can also find those on our Gear Up website. So before I do pass things off, I wanna just give a big picture overview of Grace Harbor College so you can begin situating yourself in your reflection today. Grace Harbor College is located in Aberdeen, Washington. It's about two hours from Seattle and five and a half from Spokane on the east side of the state. Grace Harbor College is a public community college and it has uh, just under 2,000 students enrolled, so a smaller institution. So now that you know the basics, I am going to go ahead and pass it off to Marcy, who is here as our Gear, uh, Grace Harbor College representative. All right, take thanks, it away. Thanks so much, Annie. Hi, everyone. My name is Marcy Alstrom. I'm the Recruitment and Admissions Manager here at Grace Harbor College. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with y'all. Excellent. And I'll go ahead and jump right in. It's a pleasure to be taking part in Gear Up's virtual college tour. Um, Grace Harbor College, like Annie mentioned, is located in Aberdeen, Washington. We're a community and technical college providing certificates, associate degrees, and a couple of Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Um, while Grace Harbor College doesn't have a virtual tour feature, like not a video feature, what I'm going to go ahead and do today is talk a little bit about the programs that Grace Harbor College has to offer, highlight some really beautiful uh, photos of our campus, and talk about what campus life is like. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's start off with a really important question. Why attend college? Well, uh, one thing that we know in Washington state is that the more jobs that become available uh, are gonna require continuing education after high school. So a few years ago, this really great organization called the Washington Roundtable um, issued some, some reports letting us know that we were gonna see a lot of new jobs starting in the next five years. So really starting in the year 2021, we know that COVID-19 has, has thrown a wrench in our 
um, job offerings and availability and the rates of employment in Washington state for this year in particular. So the numbers I'm going to talk about are from a report from a few years ago. What's important to keep in mind, though, is um, as the state's economy starts to recover, we, we know actually that having a credential after high school is really, really important in ensuring uh, job security. So whether that means that you're more likely to um, either retain your job in times of economic um, uncertainty or it makes it so you can change careers more easily. There's a lot of really great benefits to pursuing college after high school. So we know that more jobs are going to require degrees. Uh, we also know that education is good. You know, having a well-educated society is not only good for you personally, but it's good for our communities, uh, for the health of our communities, and for us to work together to solve um, you know, social problems, which is great. So what we also know is that college graduates tend to live longer, happier lives. Uh, again, they're more likely to stay employed, enjoy their work, and it's a lot easier to change careers when you have a uh, credential after high school. And on average, college graduates earn about $20,000 more a year than folks that have just completed high school. So um, let's think a little bit about what kinds of jobs might be available when you finish high school. It's great to think about jobs kind of in three different categories. We have entry level jobs, uh, which you know maybe don't require a whole lot of education, maybe just completing high school is enough to get you into those entry level jobs. Um, you know, there's going to be some jobs available in entry level positions, but where we're going to see the most job growth in Washington state uh, over the next couple of years is actually in pathway and career type jobs. So pathway jobs are, I guess, what I consider a, a mid level job. You have a little bit of experience, maybe an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, and you're really working to build a foundation for a career in a, in a pathway. A career job is something that you would consider to be more of a professional uh, focus for your job. So I'll use myself as an example. You know, um, a great entry level job that I had was uh, right out of high school. I was working at a local administrative building for a school district. Um, I had a job while I was in college. Those are all really great jobs to help me build a foundation for being an education professional. Once I graduated from college, I had a few different pathway jobs, uh, you know, support programs that working in higher education, uh, really engaging with students. And then I went on to get a, a master's degree or a professional degree. And I have the job that I have now, which I consider a career job. So I think what's important here is to, to realize that a lot of the jobs that are going to become available in the, in the next little while are really going to require uh, continuing education after high school. And it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, go right from high school, jumping into a career type job, but that these are incremental steps that you'll take throughout your lifetime. And the choices that you make right after high school are gonna really set you up for uh, being successful later down the line. So I really love this flyer here. Uh, it shows kind of this great tree, um, what kinds of pathways that you can take to grow from an entry level job to a pathway job to a career type job. And as uh, you all know, Gear Up students know, there's many different pathways, right? So engaging in career connected learning right now, um, maybe you're thinking of going into the military after high school, you can engage in a number of certificate programs or apprenticeships. You know, some of those might be available at a two year uh, community and technical college or maybe an apprenticeship program uh, in your community. And then of course, you know, enrolling in college after high school, whether that means a community and technical college or a four year university. So lots of different steps that you can think about taking after you graduate from high school uh, to help you take those next best steps. So what I want to do is show a really quick video here. This is put together by the Washington um, Community and Technical Colleges by the State Board, just talking a little bit about what our goal is as a community and technical college and as a whole system to support you as students in our community and in, in reaching these goals of either real reskilling or upskilling. Building a stronger Washington will take all of us. Community and technical colleges were built for times like these. We know our communities and we're responding. 
Our doors are wide open to diverse students of all ages, races, and backgrounds to train for a job, get a degree, or start a new career. To create a strong and inclusive economy, it's the right thing to do for students, for employers, for Washington, Washington's community and technical colleges. Awesome. I love that video because it talks a lot about, um, you know, what the role and goal is of Washington Community and Technical Colleges. Grace Harbor College is one of 34 colleges in the system. And we're situated, uh, like Annie said, in Grace Harbor County. And we have really, really awesome programs here to support our students and our communities. So why might you consider Grace Harbor College? Well, we have really high quality education at GHC. You might see from my, uh, my little Zoom background here, Grace Harbor College is so, uh, celebrating our 90th anniversary, which is really exciting. We've been serving our community for quite a long time. We have small class sizes. So as of last year, I think our faculty to student, student ratio was 18 to one. Those small class sizes ensure that you have one-on-one -on -one time with your faculty to ask questions, get some mentorship. And as you all know, get those really important letters of recommendation, uh, either for scholarships or to apply to a four-year college. Grace Harbor College is a really affordable cost. Uh, this year, our annual tuition and fees is right around $4,900. That's thousands of dollars less than if you were to start out at a four-year university. So you can save a lot of money, not just by enrolling at Grace Harbor College um, in tuition and fees, but a lot of our students enroll locally. So if you're from Grays Harbor Pacific County is staying at home your first two years after high school can actually help to save a lot of money in terms of room and board, uh, transportation and, and other similar costs. And of course, we're conveniently located. Like Annie mentioned, we're located in Grays Harbor and Pacific counties. Um, also online. So in the past year, Grace Harbor College has been offering a lot of classes in the online environment, whether that means, you know, totally online, like in a Canvas classroom, um, or maybe meeting in person via Zoom as well. So we're in Raymond, Iwako, Aberdeen, and of course online. So here's a couple pictures of our beautiful campuses. Um, like Annie mentioned, Aberdeen is, uh, it's about an hour southwest of Olympia. Raymond and our Waco campuses are in Pacific County. So we serve really rural areas. Um, we're really excited about our campuses and the availability of access in those regions. Our Aberdeen campus is around 40 acres. You can see here, we have quite a few stairs going from lower campus up to upper campus, but we're really nestled on this beautiful hillside with a lot of surrounding forests and wooded areas, lots of trails to explore, as well as Lake Swano. So it's really, really beautiful. As I mentioned, Grace Harbor College offers a number of certificates, associate degrees, and Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. And we'll go ahead and explore those programs um, in terms of areas or study. So you can kind of see here we have it broken down a uh, few different sections. In our Start College Now section, we'll talk about how you can be earning college level credit while you're still in high school. We have a section Arts and Humanities, Education and Human Development, Business, Career and Technical Education, Allied Health Professions, and Science, Technology, and Engineering. I like to say, you know, students come to Grace Harbor College for all kinds of different reasons, um, but there's two reasons that I say really stand out to me more than anything else. So I would say one of the great reasons students come to GHC is to get a foundation in their education, their first two years, an associate degree before transferring on to university. So lots of students come to GHC to get that to your associate degree, whether it's an AA, associate in arts, associate in science, or associate in technology before transferring on to a four-year university. A lot of other students come to Grace Harbor College to really jump into a program where they're gonna learn the important skills and abilities that they need to launch right into a career after they finish uh, their program. So as we explore all these different areas over the next few minutes, you'll see um, we offer not only two-year degrees, but also certificates in a lot of the areas. We also offer three Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Um, those are in forest resource management, organizational management, and teacher education. So we'll talk a little bit about those as we go through as well. 
So as I mentioned in our Start College Now section, um, you really have opportunities as high school students to earn college level credit while you're in high school. Two of those programs are either career and technical education dual credit classes. So maybe you're taking a dual credit class in your high school where you might be able to transfer that credit to Grace Harbor College once you finish. And also, of course, Running Start. Uh, students can start participating in Running Start as soon as they're a junior in high school. And I'll leave our contact information at the end if you'd like to learn more information about how to, how to get started in Running Start. This is a great picture of upper campus. If you were to walk up all of those stairs, you'd be at um, our landing right here in the middle of campus. For arts and humanities, education, human development, some of our, our strongest and most popular programs would include our human services program where students study, um, you know, maybe how to be a chemical dependency professional. We have certificates and two year degrees in that program. We have an excellent music program, uh, Bridge to Native Pathways, and of course our Associative Arts degree. Anything you see as we go on with the DTA listed at the end of it, uh, that means that degree is a direct transfer agreement. And what that means is that these degrees are built specifically so that students, uh, when they finish that two-year degree at Grace Harbor College, can really easily transfer to a four-year university afterwards. So if that's one of your goals, pay close, at close attention to which degrees uh, have a DTA associated with them course in this section is also the Bachelor of Applied Science and Teacher Education degree. This program is really awesome for anyone that wants to become a teacher. Grace Harbor College offers a teaching certificate for kindergarten through eighth grade. We have a pathway from our early childhood education program into that teacher education certificate as well. So really great education pathway as well. For our business classes, uh, we have lots of programs associated with bookkeeping, accounting, uh, business management, business technology, also where our medical Red records administration program is housed. Again, this is another area for our Bachelor of Applied Science program in organizational management. That's a great program if you're someone who's interested in going into leadership or growing a, a career that you already have. Oh, and this uh, photo is from inside our Shermer Instructional Building. As you can see, there's lots of really beautiful natural light, which we need more of in, uh, in the west side of Washington. Um, some really cool um, glazed glass uh, on the outside of the classrooms where students do some studying and hangout space. Our career and technical education section really covers a lot of our hands-on programs like carpentry, automotive, construction, uh, diesel technology, and welding. These are all really great hands-on programs where students can either earn certificates or an associate in technology degree and really launch right into a career after, after their studies with us, which is awesome. We also offer short-term programs in uh, flagger certifications, forklift operator, uh, CDL, commercial driver's license as well. So these are all really, really awesome programs to explore if you're someone that likes to work with your hands and um, really, you know, get out there and, and build stuff, which is great. We have a few great pictures from our welding program, carpentry, and our automotive. For allied health professions, um, these are really, really popular programs. Um, Grace Harbor College's nursing program in particular is really popular and highly competitive. Uh, we admit a small cohort every year of around 35 students. Uh, we have a couple hundred people apply every year. So our nursing program, the DTA MRP, is really a three plus one degree. What that means is it takes three years to complete your associate in nursing degree, but you're a registered nurse at the time that you complete that program. The plus one means that if you decide to go on to a university and earn a bachelor's in nursing, it will only take one year to complete that bachelor's degree. So really competitive program, really popular, um, and all of our graduates are going off to get really great jobs after they finish that program. Again, we have some short-term certificate programs uh, in our medical our allied health professions and section as well, including our medical assistant program, um, medical office, administrative support, chemical dependency, and a really great CNA program as well. 
All right, and then for science, technology, and engineering, these programs, uh, again, are really great hands-on programs. Um, we have our associate in science degrees, uh, two different associate in science degrees that are transfer degrees on two different tracks. So whether you like, you know, bio, chem, earth science, or maybe computer engineering, physics, or atmospheric science, we have something for you. We also have a really great natural resources program, which have focused on forestry. So this hands-on forestry technician um, to your associate degree leads right into the Bachelor of Applied Science in Forest Resources management degree. Um, that bachelor's in forest resource management is another of our really, really popular programs. You know, in Grays Harbor and Pacific County, we have a long history of managing natural resources, including uh, some of the most, you know, beautiful forests in Washington state. So we have a whole generation of folks that are retiring from that industry, and we need new professionals such as yourselves and, you know, young people who are forward thinking about conservation and ecology to really move into this industry industry to make sure that we're uh, being good stewards of our region's natural resources for generations to come. So maybe you're thinking about Grace Harbor College, but you're not really sure what it is that you want to do. That's okay. We're going to help you explore all different kinds of options as well. We have this really cool program called Career Coach. Um, I might you know, visit you guys in a classroom and take you through this career inventory. Or if you're when by the time you come to Grace Harbor College, and if you're still not sure, we can go through career coach and your entry advising. And really, it's a way to do a career inventory, explore what careers are in Washington State, what kinds of jobs are available in real time, what kinds of salaries are you going to expect to earn in those jobs. And once you find something that's of interest to you, it points you in the right direction for academic program to start in at Grace Harbor College. So, you know, I like to say at Grace Harbor College, we have something for everyone, uh, which is really, really true. And, you know, we have tools to help you support help support you in exploring all those different programs. And then a little bit about campus life. Um, you know, Grace Harbor College is currently in remote operations because of COVID-19, but that doesn't mean that we've stopped having fun and engaging um, with our student body. So we have a lot of different ways to get involved on campus. I put some really fun screenshots here. Uh, down below in the chicken hat is our student body president, Shelly. She is amazing. Um, our student life office hosts live streams every week. Um, they bring in lectures and really great discussion topics through the Diversity and Equity Center. We also launched this year a new esports program at Grace Harbor College. Now this was in the works before the pandemic hit, but it just, it, the timing worked out really well for us to be launching this really cool um, program for students to get involved in right at a time, um, you know, we all went to virtual operations and this is a program that can be run fully online. So every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. myself and my colleague Ralph Hogamoom, he's our esports manager, we got on and host a, a free community game night, Thursday night gaming, uh, every Thursday from 6 to 8. It's free, it's open to the public, it's all ages, it's a lot of fun. And we have four varsity esports teams teams as well. That's in Super Smash Bros, uh, Overwatch, Rocket League, and League of Legends. So I like to think of esports kind of like athletics. Um, if you have a title that's of really great interest to you, reach out to us. We'd love to help you get connected. One of the great things um, about this esports program that is a little different than athletics is that Running Start students are eligible to play in our in our league teams. So that's a really exciting aspect. We've been having a lot of fun online um, in the past few months with esports. We also have the Bishop Center for Performing Arts. That's where a lot of our cultural events happen every year, including musical performances. Uh, we have a spring musical that goes on at GHC, one act plays put on by students. And we bring in uh, performers from all over the country as well. So we're having some of those events available virtually available virtually uh, this year as well. And as soon as we're able to, we're excited to uh, go back to in-person performances at the Bishop Center. Um, we also have a really robust athletic program at Grace Harbor College. Our men and women's teams include golf, wrestling, basketball, and baseball slash softball. Excuse me one moment. Excuse me, I had a tickle. 
And a few of our women's unique programs include um, wrestling and, I'm sorry, not wrestling, soccer and volleyball. So there's lots of really great ways to get involved in athletics on campus as well. Okay, and then finally, student resources. Um, one of the things that I love most about Grace Harbor College is we're a really, really caring environment. So whether you know you've been doing online instruction for a while, or this is your first quarter, uh, whether you know there's lots of folks in your family that have been to college, or maybe you're the first one in your family to go to college. We have all different kinds of support programs, staff, offices who are here to help you be successful inside and outside of the classroom. So all of these services are being uh, offered virtually right now, but they're all available in person as well. So whether that's technology support, helping students get access to technology and then learn how to use it, um, counseling services, accessibility support services. So if you have a disability or IEP plan at your school, we have uh, staff at Grace Harbor College that can help you make that transition from high school to college uh, and get you the accommodations that you need to be successful in the classroom. We have on-campus jobs that we offer and then really cool programs like TRIO and Passport to careers that help to support um, specific demographics of students, like if you're a first generation college student, or uh, if you've uh, ever been in foster care or experienced homelessness, you might be eligible for um, a program like Passport to Careers. Really cool, very caring. And this is a little photo of um, our Welcome Center uh, next to our Student Support Center in our Student Union Building, the Hub. And then Close to the end here, paying for college. So starting at a community and technical college like Grace Harbor College is gonna save you thousands of dollars uh, in terms of your, your first two years in an associate degree, and if you wanna transfer onto a four-year four -year program. So whether you earn a four-year degree at Grace Harbor College, uh, or you do a technical program and launch right into your career, or you get your transfer degree with us and you go on to university, you know, starting at Grace Harbor College is a smart choice. It's the affordable choice. Absolutely. And a really important aspect of a college affordability is financial aid. So filling out your FAFSA or your WASFA is a really important piece. And that's how you're going to gain access to these really cool financial aid programs like the Washington College Grant, uh, the Pell Grant, the uh, Washington State Opportunity Grant, uh, as well as some scholarships as well. Maybe, um, I know at Grace Harbor College, we have a world-class scholars program, really great scholarship programs that you can apply to directly at Grace Harbor College, whether through a GHC Foundation, programs like our Tool Scholarship and the Bishop Scholarship. The Bishop Scholarship is unique because students can receive that scholarship while they're Grace Harbor College students. And eligible students might be able to bring that scholarship with them to a four-year college um, after they transfer and maybe even into a professional degree as well. So really, you know, we're invested in serving our community and making sure that our students have the support that they need um, academically, socially, and financially to be successful, to be successful. And then what are the steps to get started? Well, you know, important first step is to apply to GHC. You can do that on our website. Make sure that you complete your financial aid applications. Oh, that means the FAFSA and the WASFA, and then also applying to scholarships. And then once you've done those things, we'll schedule you for an entry registration appointment. At that appointment, we're gonna help you to determine your college placement, um, do a little bit of that career exploration with career coach, help you pick a program, and then get you registered for your first quarter of classes. So, you know, Grays Harbor College is a really, really awesome community and technical college located right in Grays Harbor and Pacific counties. Our purpose and our mission is to serve our community and make sure that you all have the tools and resources that you need to, you know, build the education and experience that you need to, um, you know, chart a course for yourself into career, into education beyond high school. So thank you so much for the time to sh that I had to share with you guys. If you haven't had a chance yet, please look up us up on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And um, really look forward to connecting with all of you guys either, you know, soon or if some of you are going to be graduating in a few years, maybe in a few years as well. Thanks so much.
Awesome. Thank you so much, Marcy. I don't think I have any questions in the chat. Did you receive any? Let me look here. No. Mm -mm. Awesome. Well, you covered a ton. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, and thank you all in attendance for making some time this afternoon. Um, we're super excited to kind of round out our series of virtual campus visits with Grace Harbor College. So thank you again, Grace Harbor College and Marcy for being here with us today. And we will see you all next time. Thank you. It's great to be here.